What is going on, Nitro Sites? It is your boy, the Nitro General, here, and welcome to the semifinals of the NPBA, the draft league that I created against the Maryland Milotics. Now we already took on. Now we already took on this team. I'll talk about it here in a minute. Before that, if you guys are excited for this, make sure you leave a like down below, subscribe if you guys are new, all that good stuff. Because we are trying to hit 350 subscribers by the end of the year now i think i put a little bit of a update video here at the begin at the beginning of this but just in case i didn't um we are taking a break for a little bit just because i i need some time to kind of recuperate from all that time that i've been recording and, and making content also i am moving into my new place um i don't know if this is going to sound a little bit echoey i've got like a lot of things off the walls and stuff so my apartment sounds a little bit more echoey um, also, as you can probably tell, there's a lot of stuff behind me that's gone, um, but I wanted to record this last video before everything else off this shelf, you know, is removed, and then obviously we'll have the finals if we make it, which I don't think we're going to, but if we do, we'll have the finals battle, and then that'll be the last ba uh, the last video that's recorded here at uh, this apartment, and the next video that comes out will be at my new place, so uh, yeah, and I will have a, an apartment tour too if that's uh if you guys are excited for that, if you want to see that. But, yeah. So, anyways, like I said, uh, we are facing the Maryland Milotics and Clo Co Clo Coach Solar Surfer. Uh, we already fought him a few weeks ago. That battle is actually no longer up because um, I was having some issues while recording it. I was having a family, family member who was in the hospital, and I was having to check a group text the entire time while recording this because recording that battle because I had to get the battle done but I also wanted to make sure I was kept in the loop of everything that was happening and unfortunately just I really felt like I wasn't on the top of my game um now we we ended up winning the battle but I just I did not looking back at that video I just kept feeling like it just looked crappy because I wasn't focusing and everything like that so I ended up taking it down um just because I was like I just don't like how it turned out so yeah um, but we did win against him the first week. However, he came in and absolutely demolished and managed to make it all the way to the semi-finals. The only reason that we won against him in the first week is because he said that he put his team together the last minute. So we could battle. It was literally like his first or second day in the server. And, you know, he just was like, yeah, let, let's battle quick. He threw together a team. Um... So, I'm incredibly nervous. I don't think we're going to make finals. Like I said, uh, we've had a lot of good luck this season. And we had managed to get a... The reason why you guys didn't see a playoff match, obviously, if you haven't been watching, is that we got to buy to straight to the semifinals, right? We didn't even have a playoff match because we were the number one team in the league having a 6-1 and one streak. Which is kind of crazy. Yes, one of those was a forfeit when we got like week two. But still... Um, number one team in the league is incredible, uh, and I don't ever expect myself in any draft league that's on this channel to ever make it this far, right? This is total luck. I think BDSP is probably the best that I've ever done in any metagame ever, and, um, yeah, so I don't know why I did so, I've done so well in BDSP, but you can't even play BDSP anymore because it's dead anyways on Showdown, so... Uh, but yeah, so this might be the last video that we goes up on the series So if it is I just want to say thank you to all of the people that are in the league I know a lot of them are watching this uh, are gonna be watching this video So I just want to say thank you to everyone who did participate in this league It really does mean a lot that you guys took some time out of your life your busy life to participate in my stupid little league Something that I'm really passionate about really want to do for a long time And it's really cool that I can create a little bit of a community here with a bunch of really, really, really cool guys that want to come and uh, share their love for competitive Pokemon. So thank you to everybody who is in this server, um, in this league for participating. And thank you guys if you are watching this video and you are not in the league but you really enjoy the Draft League content. Thank you for watching. I really, really do appreciate it. All that means a lot to me because um, this is something I do want to do for a living. I doubt we'll ever do it, but, you know, c content creation is my, is my passion and... Um, I'm going to try my best to always make things as good as I can. 
But, uh, yeah, without further ado, guys, let's get right into his team. So, all right, guys, so this is his team. He's got uh, Infernape, Latios, Glaceon, Linoon, Tang <coughs> Tangrowth, Sharpedo, Shed Ninja, Steelix, Alakazam, Pikachu, and Gabite. Now, he's got an incredibly threatening team, right? Obviously, I think the biggest threats are Alakazam, Infernape, and Latios. Uh, last time, he did not bring Latios, so I don't know if he's going to again. Um, it's got a really bad matchup against us, so I wouldn't be surprised if he does it, but so does Alakazam. So, I feel like he's going to do something different to throw us off this time. Um, <clears throat> Infernape obviously gets Life Orb, you know, cho Choice Band, whatever, Close Combat, Iron Fist, too, is... is is insane uh, for like mock punch and, and fire punch but gets like flare blitz and fake out is incredibly scary with like choice man and life orb like i said um this thing could get could run choice scarf i doubt it though because it really doesn't have anything in these out speed um we have latios here too which like i said don't believe it's gonna come but it very well could be he could bring it to throw us off and honestly just draco the combination like draco meteor does get like thunderbolt and stuff for um for mana fee, so that's pretty scary. Uh, Glaceon, Glaceon is, I'm not really too worried about Glaceon, to be honest with you. We don't really have anything that Glaceon is really that good against. Uh, Tangrowth is pretty scary, though, being able to substitute and sleep powder. He's been using substitute Tangrowth a lot this season, so I assume that's what he's going to bring again. Linoon, with Belly Drum E-Speed, has been killing it this season on his team. I think it's probably, like, the kill leader on his team. That thing is literally insane. So, I actually have a little bit of a trick up my sleeve this week that I'm going to bring for that thing. Sharpedo is actually putting more work on his team than I thought it would. Um, because, honestly, I didn't think Sharpedo was good. But I've been watching his, uh, because I've been studying a lot of his replays. Because we have to win this in order to make it to the finals. But, um, Sharpedo is pretty good, especially with speed boost. Uh, Shed Ninja... Not really too worried about Shed Ninja. We have a lot for it. So if he does bring it, though, we do have to be careful of it. Um, Steelix. Yeah, I'm not really worried about Steelix. Not really worried about the Steelix. That thing, obviously, um, does get Rockhead, though. And it does get access to, I think, like, Head Smash. Maybe Double Edge. Um, I don't really think that's too much of a worry, though, because it's so slow. Uh, Alakazam is pretty scary. Um, he didn't bring it the first week. Um... I don't know if he will bring it this week or not. Uh, I would assume not again. But hey, you know, it, it could it could put in a lot of work if it is, if he does bring it. Uh, Lake Ball Pikachu is a threat. I doubt he's going to bring it. Um, but, I mean, it's it, it's kind of cool. I mean, I understand why he drafted it because he doesn't really have too much for, uh, for like, water types other than Tangrowth. So, and like, Freeze Dry Glaceon. So I understand why he brought it. And I mean, it's a, it's a cool Pokemon. Um... And then Gabite, I mean, Evil Light, eh, there is no Evil Light, never mind. But uh, Gabite is, it could be, could be, it could be scary, but depending on the, depending on the set that he runs, I doubt that he's going to bring it, though. Um, that is his team. Um, we got a, we got a kind of a little bit of a cool team that we're bringing this week, and uh, yeah. Alright, guys, so this is the team we're bringing against Solar Surfer and the My Maryland Milotics for the uh, semifinals of the MPBA. Uh, we have Squirt here with the leftovers, Hydration. We got Tail Glow, Scald, Shadow Ball, and Ice Beam. Um, Tail Glow and Scald obviously are just really, really good. Shadow Ball is there for the Latios if he decides to bring it. Also the Alexam. Uh, we also have Sh uh, Ice Beam, which is going to be also there for the Latios. For the Tangrel, too. Um, I thought about running Energy Ball for um, Sharpedo, but I really don't think that's that big of a deal. Um... So honestly, if we can just come in, tail glow up, and then just sweep, that would be absolutely phenomenal. But Ice Beam is, I think, will be really, really good because we do outspeed tank growth. I am running a little bit of a faster set this week. We are running a Modest Nature uh, with max speed and max press attack with the remaining 4 in HP. That way we can outspeed a lot of the members of his team. That way Tangrowth cannot run like Choice Scarf or something and, and outspeed us. Because that wouldn't that would not be good. So because if this thing goes down, we might be in a little bit of a bad position. But honestly, especially if he does bring Latios, because then if this thing goes down, we don't have anything for I guess we do have Frozone. Forgot we're even bringing that. But uh yeah, so that's I mean that's Squirt. I mean that's the basic set that we've been bringing a lot this season. Um might be the last time we bring it, but hey, hey, we'll, we'll, we'll have to see. And the next one up, guys, is Frozone, Focus Sash, Pickpocket, Fake Out, Ice Crash, Night Slash, and Ice Shard. 
Uh, we are actually running a Jolly Nature this week, though. So we can outspeed, like, um, uh, not speed invested Alakazam. Which, if he runs, if he runs Choice Scarf, he runs Choice Scarf. But I don't, I don't think that he will. So, um, but yeah, so Fake Out's there for priority. So is Ice Shard. Ice Crush is there for stab against Latios. Uh, Night Slash is there for Latios, is there for Alakazam. Uh, mainly there for Alakazam, but otherwise I wouldn't even brought Night Slash <laughs> on it. But honestly, Alakazam's going to be a big issue if he does bring it. So, um, but like I said, I don't know if he will. Uh, next one up is we got Monkey here with Silk Scarf Technician, Fake Out, Double Hit, Thief, and Taunt. Taunt is there because of, um, because I want to lead Squirt and Monkey. And that way, if he does decide to lead, uh, like Tangrowth or something, we can make sure that we taunt it so it cannot... <clears throat> you know, uh, substitute or sleep powder or whatever it wants to do. As well as, you know, if we can bring it in, if we want to bring it in against Lanoon and taunt Lanoon, um, and that way it can't belly drum, that would also be good. Uh, but actually, with the set that I'm running this week with Blob, I actually kind of want him. I actually kind of want him to, uh, to do it. So hopefully he will. That way we can come in take over his uh, plus four belly drum lanoon and sweep his team back that would be really really cool i <clears throat> uh, don't know if it'll work that way but hey if it does it does so uh but yeah fake or double hit is there just for stab and then thief is there to hit alakazam and latios mainly alakazam it's not really gonna do too much latios but uh yeah we are running in adamant the nature this week though with max speed and max tech he does have a relatively slower team um <clears throat> obviously, Sharpedo can be fast. Obviously, uh, uh, Infernape could be pretty fast as well. So, but other than that, I mean, Latios could be too. So, other than that, he's got a pretty slow team. But, uh, yeah, I mean, that's that's Monkey. Next one up, guys, we have Luke Cage. Again, the MVP of this team. We have the Life Orb, Luke Cage, Lion Fist, Drain Punch, Mock Punch, Ice Punch, and Detect. Drain Punch and Mock Punch, obviously there for Stab. Um, Ice Punch is there for Latios, is there for Tangrowth, Detect is there just to protect. I mean, he didn't bring Latios his first, um, the first time, but honestly, we'd be really stupid if we didn't prepare for it. Because the last thing I need is to be like, nah, he's not gonna bring this again, and then he brings it, and we end up getting screwed over. So, uh, yeah. I mean, we're running Max Attack Adamant this week with Max HP, um, and Max Attack as well. Uh, and this thing's just there to do as much damage as possible. Really doesn't really need to be that fast this week, so I'm not really putting any speed investment into it. But um, Iron Fist is just gonna make Mach Punch, Ice Punch, and Drain Punch do just do an absurd amount of damage. But yeah. Next one up on this list, guys, is Nightmare. Um, this is probably gonna be the last time we bring it. Uh, even if we do make it to the finals, uh, I don't really think Nightmare is gonna be coming just because I don't think he's gonna be good against. I mean, maybe. I don't know. We'll have to see. But uh, we're bringing Focus Sash this week because of the fact that. Um, if I run Choice Scarf and he runs Choice Scarf on Alakazam, then we don't outspeed it and we go down. So, Focus Sash will allow us to take one hit and then we can Oko with Shadow Ball, right? So we have Shadow Ball, Sludge Bomb, Destiny Bond, and Taunt. Shadow Ball is there for the Latios and the, um, the Alakazam. Honestly, if he brings both, Nightmare is going to Oko one of them and only one of them. And we have to pick which one we want to Oko with Nightmare. Probably Alakazam, but yeah. Uh, Taunt is obviously there for the same reason that Monkey has it. Destiny Bond, you know, maybe, we'll have to see, if even, I don't even know. But Sludge Bomb is basically just there for, uh, Tank Girls, so, yeah. And the last one, guys, we are running Choice Scarf Imposter Blob this week, guys, with Max HP and Max Speed. Oh, Nightmare, I didn't even go over his, uh, his stats. He is, uh, Max Special Attack and Max Speed this week with a Modest Nature, so. If I ran, um, a, uh, like a Jolly, or, uh, not a Jolly, a Timid, um, a timid Haunter this week, we don't Oko Latios for Shadow Ball, but with, with uh, Modest we do, so, yeah. Um, unless it's, like, bulky. But, uh, we're running Max HP, Max Speed, Choice Scarf Ditto. That way, if we choose to come in on really anything, we're gonna be faster than it. Um, this thing, if he does bring Shed Ninja, this will guarantee that we have a, a counter to it every time. Um, but also, this will, um, allow us to come in on Belly Drum Linoon and be choice scarfed make sure we outspeed literally everything if we want to go for a different move other than e-speed if unless if he brings it and uh yeah i mean that'll be really cool um 
Bob might not actually do anything this week. I'm actually scared about bringing it because if he if it doesn't, then it doesn't. But I think it will. I think it will. So, but uh, yeah, guys, that is our team for uh, this week. Um, I'm incredibly nervous, but we're gonna head right into the semifinal battle, guys, and I really hope you did enjoy. All right, guys, so we are in the battle. Um, I know in the last ep battle, I said we are not going to be doing any more post commentary. But unfortunately, I got called into work right before um, we were supposed to do our battle. So I ended up doing our battle while I was at work. But unfortunately, I couldn't record it. And uh, yeah, but post commentary, is, is, it's still the battle. So uh, yeah, so he did end up bringing a slightly different team than I thought. He did bring Sharpedo and Steelix. Um, I don't know why he brought Steelix, but he did. Alakazam, incredibly scary. Um, Infernape, incredibly scary too. I anticipated an Infernape Pentangrowth lead, so I led both Squirt and Ambipom here. Um, so, and we ended up being right here. He did lead both of those Pokemon. So, and, uh, so I decided that I was going to fake out on the Tangro so it couldn't substitute and Sleep Powder or whatever it wanted to do. And then I assumed that he was going to fake out and Squirt too, so that really kind of allows us to have a neutral thing, a neutral turn. And that is exactly what happened. So, yeah, I mean, that's, I mean, that's pretty good. I then decided that I wanted to Tail Glow up, and we were going to taunt the Tangrowth. That way, if he did just, if he went for a Giga Drain, um, then we, we lost it. But I thought that he would either think that we were going to double out, or that, um, or he would at least want to set up Substitute, that way he could get off a Giga Drain or Sleep Powder the next turn, guaranteed. So, I assumed that that's what he was going to do. So, I did taunt. Um, and I... So, he doubles into Sharpedo here. And I taunt the Tangrowth. And I do get a Tail Glow up here. Now, um, Sharpedo could have close combat here. Um, and if it's Choice Scarf, we, we, lose, uh, we lose Monkey, right? If it's Choice Scarf, we lose Monkey. It hasn't had time to get up any Speed Boost yet. So, I was a little nervous about it getting, about it going for close combat, but I did just decide that probably going for a double hit on it would probably be better. That way, we out, if we out it, it would take it out. And then I just decided to go for an Ice Beam on Tangrowth, right? Um, so, I'm, that's what I was really, really hoping here. And we do just knock it out, which is really big, and we get a full knockout on the Tangrowth too. So, that was really, really, really cool here. Um... So he ended up saying, you know, he was max speed on Sharp uh, Sharpedo, but he must have been max speed, but not Choice Scarf, because that's the only way we outsped him. And that really sucks. He must have had close combat on it. At least that's what I'm guessing. And I, I really, really feel bad, but getting that right away on this first turn is really good. So he does come out with Linoon and Kang here. Now, I figured he was going to go for another fake out into Squirt, and I want to let him get the Belly Drum up so I can come in with Ditto. Um, in a little bit and actually take over that if we if we can so I actually doubled out here And I doubled out into Hitmonchan um, And he does fake out on square and he does belly drum I believe does it yes He does belly drum here. So that was incredibly cool. Um, and then he gets a citrus berry pop so He I go back into haunter on what I was assuming was a like a, a close combat he does just and we did get that right but he does just take out squirt with an e-speed i felt like he was probably going to go for an e-speed into um no that's why i doubled into haunter so i thought he's going to go for an e-speed into hitmonchan and go for like a close combat or something into because it really isn't his in front of him isn't great here besides uh weavile so i figured he was just gonna throw it away anyways um and just go for damage on um on manaphy but I was wrong, and he ended up taking out Manaphy, which is not great. But we did get our Ditto in, and we are, we did copy, we did copy it. So that is really, really big here. He protects on his, uh, speed, his, uh, Linoon, but I, I just went for an E-Speed on, I just went for an E-Speed on, um, on, uh, the, the, or the, uh, on the, the Infernape, just because I needed to get that out of here. He did go for, he did have Mach Punch. He thought he had, he did say he thought he has, uh, had higher priority with Mach Punch, but I do believe E Speed is like one of the highest priority moves in the game. So unfortunately, that just, 
Go code and I feel kind of bad because it was resisted, but he does come out with mustache now I could just go for a shadow ball here and take it out But I feel like probably just getting rid of that line is probably our best bet And then I think I doubled yeah, I doubled into weave out on the psychic type move so I could hopefully um, so he goes for a psychic on uh, Ditto and he, he and that did he didn't kill which I'm incredibly surprised but he did decide that he went with scarf over um, Scarf over Specs, so that's why I didn't KO, and he is Scarf, so I'm glad I didn't uh, stay in there with, with Haunter, but uh, that is incredibly scary, but it is really awesome we got rid of it. So we're right here at a 5-0, and he just has Helix, and I believe it's just a KO here. We get the Flinch too, which is insane. I go for another E-Speed, doesn't do a ton. I go for another Icicle Crash here. He goes for a Gyro Ball and takes out, or puts me down to my focus sash i decide to switch out into haunter just in case he does decide to do that again and we didn't even go okay but we did and we win so i don't know how we got this lucky i don't know how we got this lucky but we are in the finals guys we beat solar surfer 5-0 and we are now in the finals of the nbba against two of the teams that we've already fought once this league, right? Either Ninblox or who we fought like week three or Xander Zone, uh, who was the only team to beat us this season. So um, both of those teams are incredibly good. Um, I'm hoping that, that Ninblox wins so we can face him again in the, in the, uh, in the finals. Uh, if Xander wins, we're going to have to pull out literally everything because he's the only team that beat us this season. And I feel like, well, we'll we're going to lose if we if we do fight him. We we have a good chance to lose against Nimblox too. But I think we have a better chance of beating him than we do against Xander. Because Xander already beat us once. And if you guys remember, that Mammoth Swine is literally insane. So, um, but yeah. So. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's the battle. I really hope you guys did enjoy I cannot believe it worked out this way, but it did. So, yeah, we're in the we're in the finals, baby. If you guys enjoyed this episode, make sure you leave a like down below, subscribe if you guys are new, all that good stuff. Let me know uh, by hitting that uh, subscribe button if you guys haven't already. Make sure you have your notifications on so you do not miss it. Also, this is going to be one of the last videos in this apartment, so it's pretty sad. But uh, yeah, we hope you guys did enjoy. But like I say at the end of every episode, I'm the Nitro General. Really hope you guys enjoyed. See you in the next one. Nitro Journal's out. Peace.